Hi guys. You can probably hear it's raining out there. Right, I'm going to do something I really didn't want to do. Um, I wanted to give that balloon powered car a rest. I had quite a few suggestions as to what we could do to improve it. Um, I do want to completely redesign the nozzle and that sort of thing. But if we just keep this Mark III paddle, one suggestion was to actually enclose it like a turbine. Now, I don't want to do that at the moment. That would be a significant increase in the amount of printing I'd need to do but it did occur to me that if I just printed the other side I could glue that in place and that will partially enclose it the air will be trapped in there and have to flow in rather than come out the side so that might make a difference I thought it was an easy enough print to do that was just an hour to print that, and obviously a bit of time to design it. Um, but I thought that was worth a try. That was not much extra work. So I'll glue that on, and then we'll put this back together again. I'm not sure I've got any of the same size balloons, and that will be a problem. It won't be a fair comparison if we don't use the same size balloons. I'll see what I can find. Alright, this is one of the original balloons. It looks pretty limp. So it may well burst. Apologise if it hurts your ears. Hmm, something went wrong there. I think mm, might need some spacers again. Didn't put any spacers in between the wheels and the bodywork. All right. Well, it's really not going half as well. What's the problem? It's freewheeling all right. does show just how well it does freewheel. So why is it... That might be touching.
Okay, try that again. Well, that did a bit better. So it looks like that pipe was actually touching the paddle wheel. I've got it forwards too far. That's what was stopping it. Just trying to remember if I've got a different size nozzle. the one for there I'm using the wrong nozzle oh, right okay it was only a few days since I last did it and forgotten all of me bits and pieces I think this one's going to burst. That looks like a fresh bloom. That seems smaller. Caught on the wheel. Launched it to the right. <laughs> oh dear. See, I've given it a few days rest and I've forgotten all the details. And I haven't got any more nozzles that I've forgotten about. That's the one I was just trying. Right, I'll try it one more time. Get a straight launch. Oh, touching the wheel again.
Well, we're going to get to the other end after several false starts. Mm. On the other bloom powered car that I've been doing, the one that doesn't have the paddle wheel, I've actually reduced that nozzle. Uh, that looks like about five millimeters. I've reduced it down to three millimeters. So maybe we could have another go with this with a three millimeter nozzle. See if that helps. Yeah. Maybe one more video then. We'll try it with a three millimeter nozzle instead of a five millimeter nozzle. The um, plain bloom powered car without the paddle wheel is doing the distance. So this is adding adding complication to it when a plain one does do the job. Well, I was just doing the picture for the thumbnail and I remembered why this balloon seemed so much harder to blow up and made a smaller, didn't blow up as far. That's the one that I double layered. There's actually two balloons there, one inside the other. So that wasn't really a fair test either. But we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. I think what I will do is I'll print another nozzle with a smaller hole again and see if that improves things. We've been steadily going down in outlet size or nozzle size. So that looks like about three or four millimetres now. I'll try something a little bit smaller. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.